There aren't a lot of scenes that leave me absolutely speechless, but to my surprise one did make it happen and it came from a movie I initially really didn't expect it from. Midsommar. The movie already deals with some incredibly heavy themes that definitely leaves a strong emotional impact, starting with Danny, who loses her entire family under horrific circumstances. If you're wondering why I'm saying it like that, well, it's one of those things you really can't describe on YouTube. It's, it's that bad. To find some sort of escape from her situation, she goes to an idyllic village in Sweden, where at one point they do a certain ritual, and it's here where they there is a shocking moment that seemingly comes out of nowhere. Now at first when the group arrives, everything seems pretty normal, if maybe a little bit weird. There is the midsummer event where there are people dancing and eating together, it seems like a great time. But then the group is invited to spectate an old ritual. An hour into the movie and everyone gathers at the foot of a small hill. At the top, the elderly members of the group go closer and closer to the ledge of a high cliff and eventually they jump. And this gets very violent. I'm censoring it because it's really unexpected. If you really want to watch the scene in full, I'm leaving a link in the description, but be warned it's quite graphic. The main reason I'm censoring it is because it comes so suddenly without any warning. This is one aspect contributing to why this scene is so messed up. Everything up to this point was very different. Even though there was always that underlying feeling that something was slightly off, this just completely completely slaps you in the face. The moment you see them smash into the ground and their bodies fly off into pieces marks a big shift in the story where everything goes quite literally off a cliff. But the violence is only one small aspect making this so disturbing. Really quick if you have no idea about what's going on here, the reason these geezers do this is because they don't want to be a burden on the rest of the community because of their advanced age. This adds an implication about the effect it has on Danny. She lost her entire family, so to watch other people willingly jump off a cliff to supposedly relieve others is just completely soul crushing. It's hard enough to watch this scene as is, but then to be in Danny's shoes makes it so much worse. There's also the fact that they are in a foreign country. Our group, the people we're following, are so far away from home and are experiencing this insane culture clash. What's happening here is completely normal to the villagers, but leaves quite an emotional scar on the tourists. Like they can't really leave. The community is isolated away from society, so it's not like they can just pack up their stuff and say, oh, you know, screw this, I'm out of here. It's, it's not that easy. Which makes this kind of a forced participation. There is nothing they can do except watch. As the next person prepares to leap off, all they can do is stand there and witness the events. They can't do anything. They have no control, and that is terrifying on a very primal level. Maybe it's just me, but the feeling of having absolutely zero influence over the situation terrifies me. And being confronted with that made this disturbing, not because of the violence or the blood, but because it's a very difficult thing to deal with emotionally. All of this makes it seem like anything can happen. Of course the movie doesn't turn into a slasher or anything like that, but suddenly there is this understanding that anyone can die at any moment. Because death here means nothing. It's not necessarily a tragedy, it's just routine. The sound also greatly adds to the impact in a way I really didn't even recognize at first. When you have the sudden impact of the people hitting the ground, there is no jump scare sound effect. It's not startling or loud, it's just silence. And I didn't even notice it at first because when you experience something shocking, that numbness is what you typically experience the most. The silence feels real. In my experience, when there's something that really shocks me in real life, it makes me feel like nothing matters at that moment. I lose any filter or restriction that I usually put on myself, and that leads to almost every sense that I have to become completely numb, and that includes sound. Of course, you don't actually become deaf, but you just don't pay attention to it anymore. And the lack of sound in this scene is pretty good at imitating that feeling. 
Of course, the fact that it's also all one shot greatly adds to the immersion, and not really in a good way. When they're jumping off the entire fall from the top of the cliff until their uh, arrival, let's say, is one shot without cutting away. This makes it seem all the more realistic. Too realistic for me, honestly. There's a reason why I avoided talking about this scene for a long time, and that's because whenever I watch it, I get this bad feeling deep in my stomach. It's not that I feel sick or anything, but there's just this weird feeling that keeps telling me that something isn't alright. Sort of like when you're on the way to work, and then you think, did I leave the stove on? Did I turn it off? Did I really turn it off? I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, before anyone writes that they've seen far more brutal scenes that had much more blood and gore, I don't doubt it, so have I. But it's not about the violence, again, it's so much more about the emotional impact this scene has. It hits you like a brick, and the gore only serves to amplify that, but it definitely doesn't cause it. In a way, it almost feels like psychological horror, because we see the dangers of tradition. Everyone here looks at this as normal. When Simon yells at the group members asking them what's wrong with them and if they're not recognizing the seriousness of the situation, the others around him act like he's the one who's crazy. They're like, why the hell is this guy ruining our fun? They look genuinely confused, like what the hell is wrong with these people? I think Danny's reaction is arguably the most frightening because amidst all of this, she barely reacts at all. So anyway, this was the scene that literally left me speechless. Let me know how you reacted to it, or what movie scene made you shut up right away. Anyway, as always, I hope you liked it. Well, I mean, actually, I hope you didn't. If you liked this scene, there was probably something wrong with you. No, I hope you liked the video, and that I get to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.